Hey, I hope everyone is well. Welcome, welcome. It's Friday night. Hello, I see you all there already. Balmy moonlit Queensland, Cherie. That sounds nice. It's been pouring rain all day here. Well, not all day, but mostly it's been pretty wet. I thought we maybe were done with the rain for a while, but apparently not. And we have another 10 days on it. According to my weather app, it's going to rain every day for the next 10 days. I'm going to do after that, but <laughs> who knows? So I'm just going through. We've got quite a lot of comments. I'm just seeing if there's anything I need to catch up on. Just lots of hellos. I won't say hello individually to everyone because there's just too many people, but that's awesome, isn't it? Isn't that a good problem to have? <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Nice to see you all. Um, for those of you who did my online class with me this month, um, those went in the mail, some yesterday, some today, the rest today. Um, so everything has gone. Um, if you purchased the class from me, you should have got an email from me. If you didn't, contact me and I'll make sure you have it. Um, and I've got a couple of girls, Ellen and Denise there. Hey, you girls. Hi. All right. Um, well, I can be background entertainment while you're working, Ellen. How about that? <laughs> nice to see you, Denise. All right. So I've got a blank desk and I'm going to switch over to that in a second. Um, if you have any questions at all for me, please ask. Now, Jody, I just saw your name and went, oh, that's right. I said I would do mirror stamping because that's what you asked me to do, but I forgot about that. So it won't be tonight, but maybe Sunday night if I remember. Okay, maybe remind me. <laughs> because um you did ask and i said i would and then i forgot all about it so there you go hey there joan nice to see you all right so let me just switch over to the desk and um, we'll get started and i've got a few things i want to show you tonight uh where is my here it is underneath everything else um, i'm going to go looking through our annual catalog the one that's retiring and i've got all my retiring sets marked out so let's switch over and you can see it here on my desk okay and I've just pulled out a couple of things tonight that I thought might be fun to create with ah hello there Jenny um your stuff all went in today's post Jenny um that was the last of the stuff I only had a few left to go today hey Rhonda yours too I believe was in today's all right um okay so this is my annual catalogue. I obviously have a few of them, but what I do is I, I go through when the retiring list comes out, the last chance list, as they like to call it, I go through and I mark it so I know this is the one that's marked. So I've got a little pink dot there on the front. And on every page, anything that's going to be retiring has a little pink thing. Now, don't panic. The expressions in ink suite is not retiring. The stamp set and the dies will still be available in the new catalogue, but they won't be a bundle anymore. Okay, now there's a few like that. Okay, so what I did, I just I just highlighted the word bundle, so I know the bundle's retiring, but nothing else is highlighted, so I know that those are staying. Okay, that's how I that's how I try and help myself with that. Um, but the stamp set that's highlighted all the way across like that, that means to me that um, that it's it's actually going. The whole set is going. So there's, there is a few Christmas sets in this catalogue. Um, the new catalogue's very light on with Christmas, um, mainly because all of our, most of our Christmas offering comes out in the July holiday catalogue or the July to December mini catalogue. And that's only, you know what, that's not that far away, is it? Isn't that a bit scary? Can you guys believe we're almost a third of the way through the year? This is almost the end of April and then we're a third of the way through. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's chilly down there, is it, Lynn? <laughs> a, clean, a clean desk. <laughs> no, I don't, if you're talking about me, it certainly doesn't sound right. I don't know about you, Ellen. I think you're better at keeping your desk clean than I am. All right, so as you go through, you'll see a lot of things are highlighted. I think it's been a lot of stamp sets gone this year. Um, when, when I was going through, I felt like all my stamp sets were disappearing. Like for example, the beautiful, uh, free as a bird set is, uh, retired. So, I mean, that's a bit sad. I can go through individually. If you need to know, I can look up and see which ones have actually already sold out. If you need to know about anything like that. Hey, Sunny, nice to see you. It's cold in Melbourne. Is it Jenny? I know the time is going too quick. I know, right? Well, what 
I've really not taken advantage of the the warmer weather and um um, some of you know I had a little fall a couple of months back and um, and haven't been able to exercise since. And a few kilos seem to have found their way onto my hips and I'm a bit annoyed about that. So now I've got to work hard to get rid of those again. <laughs> so, um, yes. Hey there, Kim. Nice to see you. All right. So let's have a little play tonight. I thought I was looking at this stuff, the bloom where you planted, and realised I have a whole heap of this paper left, this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And it's, it's called Bloom Where You're Planted 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. And then there's all these lovely things. There's stamps and things. Now, I never actually got the stamps. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't because I really, really like them. And I think it would have been a smart move. But I didn't get them. I didn't get the dies either. But I did get the paper. And I've got plenty of that left. So I just thought, well, let's pull that out and have a little play with it because I haven't used it enough. Um, I really, really like this set. I think it's beautiful. And you can see I've done a little bit with it. I've cut out some bits and pieces. There's a nice wood grain there on the back. We've got some nice brickwork. I've used this a bit. I think I'll use it tonight too. Then we've got some like grey bricks and some foliage. Very, very nice. Oh, look, there's that's the other side of the bricks. And what else have we got? We've got this one here. So you see I have done a bit with it, but not nearly enough. I think this would have been a nice one to use a bit more. You've used it a lot, have you, Cindy? Well, I hope you know what tonight for anyone, Elizabeth. I've, this is the first night I've put my UGG, UGG boots on. I haven't had them on since last winter, and tonight I went. You know what? <laughs> UGG boots it is. So there you go. Um, and you can see it's a nice wood grain there on the back. So you can do a lot with it. Um, I have used these. You can cut these out. There are dies to cut this out, I believe, or you can just cut them out by hand, which is also quite nice, and then put different things in them. That's nice there on the back too, isn't it? Really, really. So, Rhonda, you and Sally know each other, do you? Because um, <laughs> I see you guys said hello to each other the other night as well. <laughs> so this one's really nice. It's got some nice ones in it, and that's the one we looked at first. And this is nice. You would, I would cut this straight down the middle, like at the 6-inch mark, and then you could use either side. I think it would look nicer hanging down from the top. I rather like it. And on the back we've got kind of like a, I don't know, looks a little bit like a, a grungy concrete kind of a look. That's what I would call that. Anyway, I like the fact, just bear in mind, for anyone who doesn't know, if you ever look at the back, it tells you all the colours that have been used in the paper. Um, that's a really handy thing. So just remember that's on the back of your um, support card, cardboard that comes in with the pack. It, it'll have the... And if it doesn't have one of these sheets of cardboard, it'll be on the label on the back of the packaging. So um, it'll always be there, but you just got to remember to look at it because it's very handy when you come to working out what inks go with it to actually have a list of what colours are in your cardstock. But that's the same with all of them. It is a really nice, crisp is a good word for it, Cherie. Yeah, no fluffiness, exactly. So the stamps and dies are going forward, are they, Michelle? I don't think I paid attention to that, but I know the paper is going. Um, I didn't pay attention to what the others are doing, probably because I don't own them, <laughs> but that's good to know. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, the tailored tags dies. Do you mean do you mean the tailor made tags? Is that the ones you mean, Cindy? Because I think the tailored tag was a punch, and I think the tailor made tags are dies. If that makes sense, because I make that mistake too, calling it the wrong thing. All right, let's pull. Let's move these to one side, and I'm thinking. We might, I've got, I've got my little bag of tricks. I'm going to grab my trimmer. I've got my little bag of tricks. Oh, I think I bumped my phone. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> That's better. Don't like it when it goes crooked. But let me see how wide this is. Okay, yeah, that's right. And I'm going to measure this three through 13.8 by nine and a half. Okay, so that's just slightly smaller than card front size. And then the colour in the brickwork here is cinnamon cider. And as we know, that's a retiring colour. And here's some cinnamon cider cardstock. And I'm going to measure that at 14.3 by 10. And that's half a centimetre wider than the base piece. If anyone needs um, inches... I tend to work in centimetres because we're in Australia and we use metric here. But if anyone needs inches, let me know and I'll see if I can give you those as well. But it's not too, for those of you um, 
I mean, the problem is that American or US letter size cardstock is actually a different size to A4, which is what we use here. So it's not a simple matter of just converting from from centimetres to inches. You've actually got to work out the different size cut paper. So it makes it a bit complicated. Um, it's not always as straightforward as it sounds. All right, so I'm just going to start with this here, right here on the back. I think that's rather nice. I do like the brickwork. I'm wondering if I should have gone the other way. Maybe I should have, but we'll see. I'm, see, I was going to go this way, but I guess this. I guess I'm now going this way. <laughs> so it's going to be slightly different to what I thought. I've got a stitch rectangle here. I um, also pulled out, I don't think I'm going to end up using it, but I pulled out a stitched um, so sweetly, one of those stitched so sweetly rectangles because these are retiring too. So <laughs> I, I guess no, Cherie. What do I get if I'm right? <laughs> the lint bunny. I don't think it's going to last the whole life. I can make it go longer if you like, <laughs> but probably not. All right, so let's see. I think... I think I'd like a nice, a nice um, piece of, a nice little, hmm, would I want one of these? No, I think I want one of these. All right, one of these ones, because I do rather like these. So this one I've done before, and that is quite nice. That's probably my favourite one, this one. I really like the look of it. I think it's a nice looking plant. So maybe I'll just do that again because I really like that one. All right, let me grab my scissors. Oh, I should have bought, you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab my adhesive packaging because I took them all to class a couple of days ago. So my adhesives are in a box on the other side of the room because I haven't unpacked my bags yet from, from when I went up to the Hunter Valley for my class the other day. <laughs> yes, what I say, you know what, There's, I subscribe to both thoughts and that's why my weight probably goes up and down, up and down because on one hand, yes, I, I agree with you, um, Denise, was it Denise that said that? No, it's Sunny who said don't do it, think of the inches and yes, I know I, I should think of the inches and then part of me thinks, you know, life's short, life's short, eat the cake, eat the bunny but um, then I regret it later so... <laughs> So in the moment, it feels really good to do that, but um, not so much fun later when you get on the scales. Oh, well. <laughs> but I've decided I really have been a slave to the scales too much in my life. I think I wish I had not worried about that so much when I was younger. But as we get older, we maybe don't worry quite as much. I only worry now from a health point of view. I don't know how anyone else feels about that. <laughs> Cherie says she can't hear you, Sunny. She's not listening. <laughs> Cherie, la, 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 la. <laughs> All right, so I'm cutting this out and I'm leaving a little bit of a gap. Tonight I'm just having some fun with some stuff because... My online class is over for the month, so I don't have to tell you all about that. But I will mention that we still do have a lot of last chance stuff and there's still a lot of bargains. So don't think everything's gone. Yes, some things have sold out, but not everything is gone. So go have a look. It's in the online store. And if you don't know, there's a shop now button on my Facebook page to go have a look at that. Um, there's also a clearance rack in there. And we've got some really cool things. Like, for example, we've got that beautiful Hope Box kit the one with the stamps and the uh, the stamps and ink and all the card fronts and envelopes and all sorts of stuff, and it's only $18.50. That's an absolute bargain. Um, really, really nice. It's called the Hope Box. So, yeah, there's some really great bargains at the moment if you want to go have a look, if you haven't done that already. The problem, of course, is that um, we are also getting ready for a new catalogue, so people are trying to get a bargain, but they're also being very... <laughs> You know, they're also being a little bit savvy because they know that they want to save up for, for next month when we have new stuff. So I get that. Totally get it. I hope everyone got some really cool stuff in yesterday's free shipping. That was a really good deal yesterday. And if you didn't know about the free shipping, okay, 
<laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, yeah, mine are on tiles too. Shame it doesn't work the other way. <laughs> Cindy, <laughs> that's hilarious. Six kilos overnight. How funny. Um, if you didn't know about the free shipping yet yesterday, because it was a 24-hour sale, what they do, a flash sale every now and then, if you didn't know about it, that probably means you're not getting my emails. And if you're not getting my emails to get that kind of information in your inbox, then you need to sign up for my email newsletter. Okay, so if you want to do that, if, any, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter already, um, you go over to my blog. Let me just type it up so it's on the screen for a second. You go to the blog and when you look, when you go onto the front page of the blog, I'm just going to type that there and then I'm going to show that. All right, see my, now my name is there with my um, lhiggins.blogspot.com address underneath. Okay, take a screenshot or write it down and all you do is you go onto that and on the right hand side of the blog, there is a sign up form to sign up and get my newsletter okay and that way you get newsletters whenever there's an update or something new happening I used to send newsletters once a month and then I it would be a mammoth job and then I realized what I needed to do was actually more often because I mean, you know sometimes it's weekly sometimes it's when something big is happening so you know, if they do a sudden promotion that we didn't know about or something like that or I need to let people know about an online class or something like that this is what I'm wanting to do here Okay, I'm going to put this on here like this. Now, this needs something behind it, and I'm just deciding what colour. Maybe soft succulent. Maybe let's let's have a look. I've got a I've got a brush here. Let me get the colour and see how it would look. Um. So yeah, I um I send them out now whenever there's something big going on. Or something that you guys need to know about and I don't want you to miss out um, so make sure you're on the list to get those all right doesn't cost anything it's just a really good idea all right so this is where this is going to go doesn't it look better when you put a bit of color behind it doesn't that look great straight away I'm going to add a little bit more I love my blending brushes. Oh my gosh, guys, these are the best things ever. And I know some of you think that too. Oh, remove now. Yep, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. I'm not very good at remembering to take it away again. I'm good at putting it up there, but just not very good at remembering to take it. A, like, a bit like closing in pads, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with that. That's looking really nice. Right, so let's pop this on here with some dimensionals. This is a quick and easy card, all right? Super, super quick and easy. Um, I don't think, I mean, apart from the fact that I had to fussy cut the, um, the pot and the plant out, but apart from that, it's very easy. Yeah, I know, but it, it's, the, it's the, the blending that makes the difference, right? All right, just like that. Right, so I'm going to put my greeting over here on the right hand side and I'll use Evening Evergreen for that because it's a nice dark ink. Hmm, what sentiment shall we put there? I've got a nice best wishes and I've got a hello here. This this is the artistically ink set that we looked before and I'm going to use that in a minute. Not on this card but on the next card. What do we think? Now, something I was thinking about that I thought might just make this look a little softer, but I don't know whether it's going to work or not. I'm deciding whether I want to have a doily sticking out there. Do we like that or do we think no doily? What do you think? Doily or no doily? And I could do a doily in cinnamon or I could do it in white like this, just turn it over. So here's the cinnamon one. Got lots of options now, haven't we? Let's see what that looks like. It blends in a little bit more because of the colour matching up with the background. Oh, you like the doily? Yes? Sometimes it's nice, Cherie, to have things going outside the box because that's it. 
I don't know, it gives the impression that there's more to it than if you keep things in the box, it's like everything's contained. So everyone's saying doily yes, but we're saying we've got cinnamon, we've got white. Okay, the first person to pick a colour was Cherie, and you said white. All right, so that would be this side. All right, and I think that does look good. All right, let's go with that. All right, so I'm going to put this sort of right here at this end. And I'm going to just stick it straight down because it's going to go flat. I'm just putting it the same distance at the top and the bottom and kind of just like half a centimetre in from the edge. And then that's going to go right about there so it just pops out. And this can go on dimensionals, but we're going to stamp first. So somebody said hello. Oh, good, Sunny. That's great to hear. I'm glad you've been practicing with those because I love the water pens. I think they're fantastic. White says Ellen. Hello, says Jodie. All right, let's go with hello. I think that works. Let's pop that here. I've just got a B block. Is this B? I think it's B. Yep, B block. When I say B block, it reminds me of like high school. Everything was A block, B block, C block. That kind of thing. I think maths was D block and that was the one I really didn't like. <laughs> All right, so we've got our hello here. I'm just making sure I've got no extra ink and I'm going to pop that kind of just down here towards the bottom a little bit and then we'll pop that on some dimensionals. This is a really easy, easy peasy card. I feel though that it might need, it might need a um, a bit of linen thread. I think that might be nice. And I'll put one in the middle because no one likes to sag, right? We don't like that. Sagging is for not us. All right. Let's pop this right here. I'll make sure I've got about the same amount at the top and the bottom. And so, oh, look, look what I did. I got myself a big blob of ink, but that's okay. That's a really great place to put a bit of bling. What do you think? We could go with some iridescent rhinestones, although that might not hide that very well. What else have I got? I think I also had, if I remember rightly, some ink color jewels. Those would be nice. I have a problem. Oh, they're, the, they're on the floor. Um, Crumpet was running, not running around, he was lying around on my desk and he kept pushing things onto the floor. I don't think he actually meant to do that, but he was still very effective at it. Let me just get down off, get down under the desk and get them. It's great having a cat to blame all sorts of stuff on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's not talk about that, Ellen. That's the S word. All right, I'm thinking Evening Evergreen right here where that little blob of ink is. Look, you can't even see it now. Doesn't that look good? Hooray. And then maybe a smaller one up here. And I do like these. These are really nice. Oh, I don't know that these are continuing. I think they might be retiring. I need to check that. I wonder if, I wonder if Megan's here tonight. She's, she's our champion checking to see what's gone and what's not right so that's going to go on a, a basic white uh, card base okay and I think that's rather nice I'm still deciding whether I want to add a little bit of um, twine I could add a little bit of twine here around the pot or I could just add like a, a bow on the side of the pot that would be really nice but I do like it I think that works what do you guys think simple enough <laughs> bling always bling absolutely I know <laughs> you hated maths too Jenny yet yeah, I'm not B block is a prison yeah <laughs> oh you and you and Sunny are being naughty you two Queensland girls <laughs> oh that's funny it's retiring is it Ellen the the bling uh-huh there we go 
I wonder if it's still available though. I need to check. The thing is, because we're using so much stuff all the time, it, there's just too much to check everything before you start, especially when I don't know what I'm going to be creating every night. <laughs> I've got a rough idea. Like I've got a rough idea for the second card. And for the second card, we're going to sneak peek some new colours. What do you guys think about that idea? Yes, personality plus. Is that a good thing? I don't know. The jury's out. <laughs> All right. But this is the paper called Bloom Where You Planted. So this one is a really good one. And I have, let me double check the price of that because, um, because a lot of the papers have been marked down. Uh, Bloom Where You Planted, it was $20. And has it been marked down or is it still $20? No, it's $12. So $12 for this paper. And there's 12 pieces in a pack. So you're paying basically a dollar a page. And it's double-sided, of course, like all our papers, or most of our papers. Actually, I think currently all of our papers are double-sided. Occasionally, some specialty papers are not. Like, you know, if they've got foil or something on one side, they'll not, they might be single, but generally speaking. Anyway, I'm going to grab a piece of wisp, not wisp of white, basic white, and I'm just going to pop that as my card base, kind of put the whole thing together so it's done. Right, it's just going to go on there. And I've got some Tombow here. And luckily, I didn't take all my didn't take all my glue to class this week. I still got some left in my desk. You love the new colours. So do I. I know. Do you know, I think I said this a couple of weeks ago. This is the first year I have loved every single colour straight away from the get-go. Okay. Some years I I like, you know, I usually like most of them, and I might like how they look together. Like last year's, I loved how they looked together, but I wasn't in love with every single colour. Um, I liked, and, and what tends to happen is they grow on me <laughs> as the year goes by and I start, I find lots of other uses for them. But this is the first year. Oh, <laughs> go on, go on, Cherie, eat the tail, <laughs> do it. All right, but yes, I really, really love um, love all the colours. So this is one of last year's colours, this, um, and this is one of the ones that's retiring. This is not last year, the year before, because this is the second year, and they always the the in colours only have the last two years. Although they do sometimes bring the odd in colour back. For example, I can think of a few like Coastal Cabana was once an in colour, Rich Razzleberry was once an in colour, and then they brought them back later when they had a colour refresh. Super popular colours that fitted really well into our colour families, so they brought them back. All right, I've got a piece of, uh, hang on a second, here it is, a piece of basic white cardstock, just basic white. It's not nothing fancy about it at all. I'm just a tiny little mark on it. That's all right, I'm going to cover that up. All right, let's do it. Let's play with some new colours. Who's up for that? Here we go. Here they are. So the new colours are Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. These five. What do you think? Thoughts? Anyone got any ideas about what they think? Who, who has a favourite? Okay. What do you think? Um... What do you think is your favourite colour for the new ones? Expressions in Ink is uh, was a beautiful pack and we're saying was because it has retired and sold out. No more. It's gone. In fact, it was one of the first things to go and that didn't surprise me because it's so pretty. Parakeet Party says Jodie. Jodie, that's your favourite? Orchid Oasis, yeah, I, that doesn't surprise me, Ellen. You're a purple girl. I'm particularly partial to this colour as well, Orchid Oasis. I've already got some plans for that. I just think it's a really lovely colour. And the cardstock, they do look all gorgeous together. Mm, yeah, I, I tend to go between a couple. I rather like this green. I think this is really nice. But I think at the moment Orchid Oasis and the Starry Sky are my favourites. Let me quickly grab the cardstock because it's easier to see the colours.
and they're quite beautiful really in no particular order and I've actually pulled out the parakeet party because I was going to use it tonight so this is parakeet party um it's we did do a colour comparison. When I did this for my team, I did I pulled them all out of the box and put them next to existing colours. And a few people have said, oh, it's the same as this or it's the same as that. Someone said it's the same as Lucky, Lucky Limeade. That's an old colour. Um, it's similar but it's not the same. Um, Granny Apple Green was another one. It's actually quite different. When you put the two next to each other, super, super different. Um, so do you want me to pull out the other colours so you can see? See, here's Granny Apple Green. I don't know if you can see the difference. It's quite a bit darker. It's it's very different colour. Yeah, Lemon Lime Twist was another colour. Yeah, it, it is similar but not quite. It isn't the same. Um, and it's like this is similar to the old Tempting Turquoise. Does anyone remember that? But we don't have any colour like this right now. Definitely not. Um, yeah, brighter version, exactly. Um, and I think these colours together are very bright, don't you think? But that's okay. We haven't had very, very bright for a couple of years. Last year was quite muted um, and subtle. And couple there was a couple of in colours ago we had some bright ones that looked a bit like primary colours. Do we remember those? Blue, blue, bleh, blueberry bushel and was it pineapple? Pineapple something, something pineapple. <laughs> Does anyone remember that really bright light yellow? So, um, yeah, it's nice seeing how the colours look together. I mean, if you were to put this next to, say, Bermuda Bay, it's totally different. Look, not even not even a smidgen close. So we don't have anything like this. It's very, very different. But we do have something like this. Okay, this one is the one that's most close to something we already have. Pineapple Punch, that was it. That's right. I knew someone would know. <laughs> oh, there's a few people that know. You have them all, Jodie? Yeah. I bought the assorted packs. When I'm starting out with a new colour range, I tend to do that. I'll buy the assorted packs first to see which colours I'm going to use the most and then I buy the single packs in the order that I'm using them up so I, I'm well aware of which colours I'm going through the fastest. So I start with a couple of assorted packs and if you can't choose which colour to get, that's probably a really great way to go. Um, you get five colours and there's four sheets of each colour in the pack. So that's a really good way to start out with new colours. Um, the other thing is you can, if you're wanting to buy all the ink pads, um, these will be available, all these things. They're available to demonstrators now. If you're a demonstrator, you can jump on in and grab them right now. But if you are a customer, then you wait till the 3rd of May and then you'll be able to order them. But my suggestion is if you want all these colours, do not order them separately. Order the, the ink pad bundle because that's going to save you 10%. So instead of $70 for um, five ink pads, it will be 63 I think that's right. Someone can check me. You're a whole pack girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now, I've actually now started. I, in yesterday's free shipping, I actually ordered a couple of single packs of the colours I think I'm going to use the most. Orchid Oasis and I think I got Parakeet Party as well. I think they're the two I started with. So I like the way these colours, if you take the Sweet Sorbet out, even though I like it, Okay, those four colours together just look beautiful. Isn't that a nice, isn't that a nice colouring? That colour group is just beautiful. This is the one that changes it somewhat. <laughs> Thanks, Cherie. I didn't even use a calculator from that, but I'm also remembering what I read in the in the catalogue as well. <laughs> and yes, the ink pad prices are going up in on the 3rd of May. So um, as is a lot of other things. So if there's something that you need that is in the current catalogue and it's there's a good chance it may be going up in the new one, so I'd be grabbing that before the end of the month. So <laughs> thick basic white, yeah, right. <laughs> what did I sound convincing about? Oh, that I knew that I knew my maths. Yeah, no, nah, no, that's not. That's not the case. Mathematics, I'm my calculators are my friends, but not mathematics. All right. So what I thought we might do is have a little, like make a little, um, I, I, mu I mucked around the other day with some, I just did some basic stamping on a note card and did and sent these out to a couple of people with um, with a new catalogue. Not a, um, The ones that are coming straight from Stampin' Up! with the mailing stock, they won't have a card with them, but the ones I was sending out direct got a little card and that's the little card I sent. So just using the um, stamp from the um, 
the Hello Beautiful set. Simple, simple, okay? And I left it, even though this one's a bit bubbly because I haven't massaged it in properly yet, um, and this one too, I, I decided I kind of liked the bubbly look and the, the textured look that that gave me, so I just went with it and kept it as it was. But, um, yes, tax is, well, tax involves mess. So you get both horrible things there. That's why tax is, is not very nice. <laughs> All right, so let's pull this out and let's do a kind of a little, I like this particular stamp. I think this is a fabulous stamp. Let me just see if I can, I'll pop it on, pop it on a block here. And I'm actually going to just, we're just going to stamp down the page and I'm deciding which one to put in the middle, probably this one. I'm going to start in the middle. There's a cat at the door. I can hear him knocking. His paw against the door because he wants me to feed him some dry food because I fed them wet before we started. All right, so I'm starting kind of in the middle, just like this. Isn't this a simple? No, it just looks like like an ink ink spot. It's really really nice. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. Yep, flicking with the water brush is a great idea. Um, let me think. I'm going to grab my Stampin' Scrub and give this a bit of a clean. I'm going to go upwards. See, this one's quite bubbly. It hasn't been massaged properly yet, so I need to actually get in and do that. Um, I did do a video about how to do this. But for this stamp, it doesn't really matter. It's it's quite a random stamp anyway, so it doesn't it really doesn't matter. Give that one a clean, and I'll get to the red one at the top. I do like putting Starry Sky, the blue, and the Orchid, Orchid Oasis, the purple. I like putting them next to each other because they just look so nice. So let's pop this to the top. And the other thing I like is I like having the darkest one at the bottom. I don't know why. I just do. It looks kind of, even though this is not ombre, it kind of gives you that idea. Now, here's my here's my theory, okay, on in colours. I think, obviously, Stampin' Up! pick in colours that are on trend and, you know, fashionable and all that kind of stuff. However, I really like the fact that, that whenever we have a set of in colors generally speaking all five colors look really good together now I don't need to clean it between this one and that one because it's so dark it doesn't matter so I didn't do a very good job of putting that I probably should have um, started a little bit further down that's not quite right but that's okay you know what I'm just gonna do a second one of these It's just something different. So um, my theory is that if you take any two or three colours in an in-colour set, they should look good together. And ideally all five should look really good together. But my theory is that you can put them, pick up any three and they're going to look great. So, you know, for example, if I put those three together, that's kind of cool. If I put those three that's also cool. Let's take this one out. That looks great. Let's take this one out. And you'll start to see that you get a really different, like different looks depending on which three you, you include. And of course we can put that one in if I want those four, but I just, I like to actually change around. And the same thing with last year's. Any of the three in my mind look really good together. All right, let's bring that in. Now I'm deciding whether I've got a couple of piece, random pieces here. I've got vellum, which would look good. And I've got, you know, I'm tempted to just go with, with this. All right, so what shall we do? Maybe we'll do best wishes this time because we didn't do that last time. 
So I, this was my reminder. I'm using this set, even though it's not retiring, I'm using this set because the bundle is. And if you really love the bundle of the stamps and the dies, okay, the dies are beautiful as well, then my suggestion is this, big, this, this is a bit too big, but that's okay. Actually, you know why it isn't. I'll grab the other one. I'll grab the hello off. Look at that, Jody. I've closed all my ink pads. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> I'm going to go with Orchid Oasis. We'll just do that in the centre. Right. Exactly. You are correct. Really good. That's really good colour theory. <laughs> Very proud. Mind you, Jody, I, you know, sometimes I don't get it right all the time, as you know. So uh, where did I put my dimensionals? Here they are, right here. So I'm just going to add a couple of those behind. Three probably is a good idea. So this is just a super simple card just to show off the new colours. And the, the circle is cut. And if you can you see the embossing around the edges of the circle? Um, that's cut with the um, beautiful, beautiful shape styles, the largest circle in that group. All right, so I've got my I want to keep calling it lemon lime twist. My parakeet party card base there, which that's going to fit on, which looks rather nice, doesn't it? And we're not quite done yet. We've got something else to do. Yes, you can, Cherie. You have my permission. <laughs> come on, out you come. This one's getting a little bit long in the tooth. Time for some new seal. Bling, yes. But there's something else that I got in my new box of goodies that I really like. And it's really good if you are looking to match up with the new colours. So, yeah, I do have some bling. Um, and I also have some dots. They're matte dots in all the colours. We've also got these little twine and see all the colours. Orchid, Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide. I've got to try and get used to all the colours. Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky and Parakeet Party. Look at that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use the Parakeet Party one because that's going to match in with the base. What do you think? Does that look? Make, does that make sense? Ah, good point. They are lorikeet as opposed to parakeet. I can't see where this ends. This could be a. Oh, there it is. Found it. I hate it when I can't find the end of a ball of twine or the ball. Of, you know what I really don't like? If anyone else has this problem, when you're trying to get sticky tape off a roll and you can't find the end of the sticky tape. That bugs me. <laughs> Happened to me today. Really don't like it. All right. Hmm. All right. Looks like I need to. It looks like my glue dots are over in my box of adhesives. Ah, uh, but I have I have some of these left over from a kit. Let me use my take and pick tool. I'll take the back off those. And then we need our ribbon scissors. I know, aren't they, Glenda? I agree. It's a little bit long. Let's see if that's better. All right, so I do have some of those matte dots that have all the colours, but we also have some bling, and I'm deciding whether I want to use, hmm, oh, I have another idea which would look rather nice. Now, these are retiring. These are the Waves, the Waves um, rhinestones, and there are some granny apple green ones here that would give us close enough. They're going to give us a close enough to the... Um, parakeet party that we would get away with them 
and some little ones. And these are retiring, so I need to use them up. See, they actually look quite cute, the green. What do you think? Do we like those? Ah, you're very welcome to Case, Michelle. But that's, I mean, that's a very simple card. It's just simple stamping, uh, a die with a greeting on it, a little bit of bling and a bit of twine, and it's done. Look at us, we're, we're on fire tonight. We're getting through it. Does anyone have any questions for me? Because I'm a little bit early tonight. Anything anybody needs to know. It's one of those ask me anything kind of things. I'm very happy to answer any questions that you might have. Here's our two cards. They turned out really nice, didn't they? What do you think? Totally different. Couldn't be more different, really. <laughs> one's kind of soft and muted and the other one's like in your face. <laughs> Save some for Sunday's live. Only four more colours to go. <laughs> now, who are you talking to? We'd all like some of the bunny. Mind you, I've had enough chocolate, really. I have. We, our, we have a, like a, a drawer in our fridge that's like a fast freezer and it's like chocolate block, pardon the pun, full of chocolate. <laughs> and it might be a while before it's emptied. Goodness. Yes, I am doing a catalogue launch event, but you know what? I haven't announced it yet. Um, I, I'm trying to work out what to do because it's actually meant to be two weeks away, two weeks from tomorrow, so it'll be the 7th. Um, now, I've already, my afternoon one, I told the girls at my class last week about it and um, all of them booked in on the spot, which means that's pretty much full. <laughs> and I thought, well, it looks like I'll have to do a second one and announce it. And I'm deciding I was going to do it the following day on the 8th, but then I realised that's Mother's Day. So I'm deciding whether to do one on the morning of the 7th or one in the evening of the 7th. It may end up being an evening one. So... <laughs> I'm glad you like the cards, but they're very easy, simple little cards tonight. Nothing nothing very complicated there. Just simple. How do you ink up the white stamp pad? Good question. Um, okay, let me let me ink up mine and I'll show you. How about that? Anyone else want to know how to do that? Um, I'll show you how to re-ink across the board. I'm not going to re-ink the, re the new colours because they're so inky already that we don't want to do that. But let me find one that I can re-ink. This is a normal ink pad. And then I've got uh, a white ink pad. I've got the old version, but they, they fill up exactly the same. It's the old shape. So it comes with separate. So here's something that's been happening. We've been having a lot of leaking ink pads lately, and I'm not sure what is causing it, whether it's a – it could be a number of things and – um, I'm really, really not sure, but, um, but when lately there's been quite a few arriving and they're already all inky. Okay. Um, Stampin' Up! will replace them for you. If that happens, um, please don't be alarmed. Sometimes they haven't leaked very much and they're easy to clean up, but other times they're such a mess that I don't want people even touching them and getting ink everywhere. I'd much rather they just call me and we'll organize a replacement for you. So yeah i tend to be the same michelle i'm not i don't eat chocolate all the time i go through phases i've been going through a phase lately <laughs> um but i think i'm about to come out the end of it and then i won't need chocolate for a while so um i tend to be more of a savory girl actually all right a normal ink pad this is how you ink it the ink is runny can you hear it all right so it's like a liquid okay and you open up your ink pad and i'm pretty sure this one does need re-inking and you would dot dot your ink you can dot or you can you can also you know drag it and and put it through but i've been finding lately to dot it is better and i just make sure that there's a, a blob of ink coming out each time i dot it okay and then you want to grab a spoon or something i find the back of a spoon really good for that and then massage it in okay so that you're just redistributing that ink so it's not sitting on the surface it's actually going down into the pad and that's how i would very simply re-ink a standard ink pad okay that's how i do it i'm sure other people have got different ways of doing it that they like to do but um that's how i do it anyway yeah 
I, I'm more of a savory girl. I love popcorn and I love chips. Chips are my weakness. I've got to be very careful because I could sit down and, you know, I buy, I think I'll just have a few and then a whole packet later I think, what happened to that whole packet of chips that I just ate? Anyway, okay. Yeah, if that happens, um, I would just be ringing Stampin' Up and getting them to replace it for you, um, Cherie. Yep. And dark chocolate's good for you. Did you know that? You know, dark chocolate's got all those ant extra antioxidants and you're allowed to have that. So, yay. <laughs> all right, so your ink pad, your white ink pad. All right, this ink is different. There's no liquid there because it's almost, it's very thick like a... Um, like glue really okay so you'll see when I squeeze this it comes out can you see what I'm doing it's totally not like the other one you can't you can dot it in fact you get it's quite effective to do it that way but it's just as easy to drag it along and but once again once you've done this and I, I do a reasonable amount the first time you buy a white ink pad it comes uninked so I would be putting a fair amount, at least a third, maybe half of the of the reinker straight into it. Uh, it comes with it. Now you can use the nozzle to rub it in, or once again, you can go back to your spoon and massage it in, which is more effective, to be honest. All right, so massage it in, so you're so you're getting rid of it off that very top layer and massaging it into your pad, so you'll get a better even coverage when you're using it on your stamps. So what I did was just re-inking an already inked pad and that would be enough. But for the first time inking, when you're inking an uninked pad, I'd be using a lot. I'd be using a third to a half. Um, that's just my take on it. And um, then once you've done that initial inking, you don't need to ever ink that much again. You just top it up with some you know, dots and then massage it in with a spoon. Okay, does that help? I hope that's helpful. That's just how I do it. Uh, look, white ink, in my mind, is probably one of the most useful things we have. I'm particularly partial to it. Would you like to see a card? I think I posted it this morning. I did post it this morning. This is a new stamp set from our new catalogue, and I've coloured, I've stamped it in Evening Evergreen ink on soft succulent cardstock, and then I've coloured the leaves in with white ink and a blender pen. And doesn't that look nice? It softens it. It just makes it really, really lovely. Everyone should have white ink because there's so much you can do with it. I'm actually thinking about doing a uh, video just for my customers, not for newbies, but just for um, people who are already, you know, working with me um, about white ink and ways, different ways you can use it. So um, don't worry, Angie. <laughs> you, there's always the replay. You can always go back and watch the replay because we're nearly, nearly done. Does anyone have any more questions? And did that answer your question, Sol Baker? Yeah, thank you. I really like it, Cindy. Thank you very much. This is a it's a new set. It's beautiful. It's called Nature's Prints and it's from a suite of products, absolutely beautiful, lots of blue and white, although you can see I didn't choose that colour here, but uh, it's all blues and whites and it's called, I believe it's called Sun Prints. It's lovely. One of my favourite new things that really caught my eye as soon as I saw the catalogue. I'm glad you like it, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> I see you asked you, you use the you asked Jody the Bridgerton question. Now now our whole conversation is gonna go south. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Does anyone have any other questions? Or is that is that useful? We're coming up to an hour, so I guess we're nearly done. Um Tonight is Friday night and I'm planning on planting myself on the lounge and watching something on telly. But I've already watched Bridgerton, so I have to find something else. And I've just finished the last season of Australian Survivor. My husband and I like to watch that. No, I haven't tried bleaching the new colours. Ah, oh, have you done it, Cherie? I see you did that in capitals, so either you're yelling at me or you just forgot to turn your caps lock off. <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely knitting for you Wendy ah that sounds nice too I'm crocheting a blanket which I started last winter and I'm I've got 75 squares and I need to probably make about another five and then I think I might be I might be done and then I've got to sew it together and I've never sewn 
granny squares together before. I've made lots of granny square blankets where I made the, made the squares and never put them together. So I'm actually vowed that this will be the first one I actually complete. But I can see there's a bit of work ahead of me. But that's okay. Good, good to do in front of the telly, right? <laughs> I will do that. I will have a play with it and maybe we'll make that the subject, Cherie, of a future a Facebook Live. That might be fun. Or YouTube Live, one or the other. Yeah, I, I tend to do that if I have the time, but I don't very often have the time. So we, we watch one or two at a time and then, you know, we we just caught up on Survivor. We've, we're halfway through, well, we're into the American one now, but we're nearly caught up on that. Yeah, I, I think I will be doing that, Glenda. I, I've been looking at a few different methods of, stick, of putting all my squares together, so I'm trying to work out what the best one will be. Well, that sounds nice. Mirror, please. Okay, that'll be, I'll try and remember on Sunday night, okay? Because it's a bit of fun, that technique. And it's something I haven't done in a very long time. So I need to have a little look at my stamps and work out which would be a good stamp to do it with. So I'll have a little play with that over the next day or so. Yes, and Spotlight had a sale the other day on yarn too, 40% off. So um my daughter's my daughter's also crocheting so she's been getting lots and lots of yarn and trying to get me to do runs to spotlight <laughs> all right guys well i think it was a bit of fun tonight I'll just put those out again i hope everyone's had a really well i hope you have a really nice weekend and that you've had a great week um and you know just just try and chill if you can because it is the weekend and that's what it's for um and I'm looking forward to having a little bit of a break myself tomorrow, so that'll be lovely. All right, you guys, see you Sunday night, hopefully. Bye-bye.